everybody, Nathan Epson here for King David Studio, 2012 5773. The year has begun and we are approaching Yom Kippur, which is in two days. And Yom Kippur is an interesting uh, holiday. It's the holiday of forgiveness. Uh, any person can ask God for forgiveness. But tonight there's a special thing happening, every night actually, from Rosh Hashanah to uh, Yom Kippur. There is something called Slichot. You can ask sorry for, from God at, at, at night. And there are hundreds of thousands of people who come in during those days to uh, Jerusalem, to the Kotel, to Kever David Melech, the Tomb of David. Uh, and they come to ask for forgiveness. They come for a spiritual uh, gathering. And it is amazing. There are so many people coming out here tonight. And we're going to interview them and see what, uh, what they do outside. So uh, join us and keep watching this and you'll have an amazing experience. Actually, for the first time this year, I looked into like, who authored Slichot and what some of the meanings of Slichot are, and I was astounded by the level of like literature, forget the religion for a minute, just like the biblical references, the alliteration, the vocabulary. Uh, when It's a shame that we say them at 6.30 in the morning because they're, they are really beautiful, and when you actually pay attention to what Slichot are saying, and who the authors were and the situations they were in when they wrote them, it naturally puts you in the right mood for Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. It's not like something we have to do so we do it because we want to be good before Yom Kippur. It like naturally, organically puts you in, this, in the right frame of mind by getting into the words of Slichot, where you're like, I want to do this, you know? Well, thank you very much, David. Sure. What do you ask for in Yom Kippur? Sorry. You say sorry for what? You pray? You pray. Yeah. To God? To Hashem? You love Israel. You love Israel? I love Israel so much. So you're here on a, on a trip from school? Yeah. Yeah? And you're enjoying it? Yeah. There you go. Where did you go? You went to the Kota? All right. But you can see right now, look at all these cars passing by over here. This is a huge traffic jam. It probably goes far, about five kilometers away from here. And this is the entrance to, from Jerusalem. This is the main road that leads from the entrance to Jerusalem, road one, to uh, the old city. And it's just amazing. So you came here today to do a trip to the Kota? Yes. With our school. And what did you do there? We went to the, you know, near the Kotel, we, they have an uh, Shoshelet Adorot, it's Shoshelet Adorot. We see where, from where all our family comes from, Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov, and everyone else. Uh, in the morning, we went to the grave of David Amelech. We saw, near David Amelech, there is Mozeon Shoah. Yeah. We went to the Mozeon Shoah, and the, it's Mazeon very Shoah. interesting, so we recommend everything. The Holocaust Museum. Yes, yeah. or the Holocaust Museum. What do you, um, what do you do on Yom Kippur? What, Kippur what? What does that, what does that pray to you? What is this? What is the meaning? Everyone who has uh, ever prayed in the Knesset can feel his soul become uh, 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 clean. I don't know how to More explain pure. it. That's yes, pure. pure. Like someone, like God is really forgiving you. I'm crying so much. I'm a very cry person, and I cry like hell in Yom Kippur. All my tears, like I'm cleaning myself. Okay, so it's it's for it's a cleaning time. I understand. Yes. And what is it to you? It's um, it's helping help me to um, feel better. Okay. I feel uh, more. Uh, I feel that I want to do more uh, team religion. More uh, yes. And you? You want to get closer to God.
So I wanted to know, what is the significance of Yom Kippur to you? Look, I'm a Jewish, and I think this is the highlight. This is the, the summit of the Jewish life, summit of the Jewish people, and uh, I feel very, very happy to be to be belong to such a wonderful nation and to be in Israel in the Yom Kippur. I think it, it has something very nice. Jewish people don't only find peace within praying. They do what David Melech used to do, and they play music to inspire souls all around the world. This is one of the most amazing things that happen here during, actually every day of the year there are people down here playing music, because that's what Jews do. They play music, they prevail, they use peaceful means to uh, shed light on the world. What did you personally take from this today? Uh, the tradition, tradition that uh, I take from here, the power to move on to the new year, to collect energy from this place. It's the center of the world. So every year I come here, once, once a year I come to take the energy and to go back. I come from uh, far. Where did you come from? From Haifa. It's wow! Remote. It's pretty far. Yeah. So it's, it's fun. For us it's a... Uh, you, like, you feel the energy. The you feel like a tourist here? Yeah. yeah. Like a euro. What do you think other, other Jews are coming here for? Everyone, as we know in Judaism, everyone is an individual. Every person is his own, has his own things to ask forgiveness for. So what do you think everybody else is doing here? What is, it, what is Yom Kippur to them? I don't know what is Yom Kippur to them because Yom Kippur to me, it's, it's a, a very big day. It's amazing. It's amazing for me. And then I pray that Hashem forgive me about all, all my mistakes. And I'm very excited too. I'm so sorry. It's okay. <laughs> no, no, it's not funny. I have one last question. Yes. Last year, there were over a quarter of a million people over here. Reva million igiulepo shana shavra. How many people do you think are going to come here this year? 
Two. <laughs> two million? Yes. Wow, okay, that's a good one. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs>